Hi, my name is Doyle Wolford, and I'm a sales engineer with Freedom Communication Technologies. I'm here today to demonstrate the R8100 service monitor, and today we're going to talk about testing a P25 radio in digital mode. We're going to do a basic transmit quality test of this radio, and we're going to do a receive quality test of the radio. One thing I'd like to point out, this is a Motorola APX 6000 radio programmed for P25. Today I'm going to do the testing without using any tuner software. If a customer is questioning the performance of a radio, this is a quick way to determine if there's an obvious problem with either the transmitter or the receiver. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to P25 mode on the R8000. To access any mode, test modes on the R8000, you just press the blue test button. From there, you select test mode. And then down on the bottom, I'm going to select Project 25. This brings up the Project 25 test menu. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the RF zone, and I'm going to set my monitor frequency for the frequency of the radio, for the frequency that the radio is transmitting. In this case, it's 851 megahertz. Then I'll notice that the RF in-out port is selected. I've got 40 dB of attenuation, I'm ready to go. From there I simply key up the radio. When I key the radio, you'll immediately notice that the monitor is decoding the voice frame data. I'm also verifying that the radio is transmitting at the proper power level. It's transmitting on the proper frequency. You see the watt meter measurement, I'm at 2.92 watts. My frequency error is 48 hertz. Now if you'll notice the Project 25 zone, I've decoded the NAC of 293 and I'm performing mod fidelity and symbol deviation tests. So that quickly, I've verified that the transmitter on this radio seems to be working properly in P25 mode. Now I want to test the receiver of the radio to determine if I've got proper sensitivity. A couple of things I'm going to do first. First, I'm going to go back to the RF zone and I'm going to copy the frequency to the generator. That way when I go to generate mode, I don't have to re-enter that frequency. Next, I'm going to go to the P25 zone and I'm going to copy the NAC to the generator. That way when I go to generate mode, I don't have to re-enter the NAC code as well. So from there, I'm just going to hit generate. So you'll notice in the RF zone, that my transmit frequency is set for 851 megahertz, but that's a dead carrier. We're transmitting just 851 megahertz. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the Project 25 zone. I'm going to select test patterns and notice that I can generate any of the test patterns defined by the P25 standard. In this case, I'm going to select 1011 hertz tone. Then I'm going to go to modulation mode and turn it on to continuous. And you'll notice that we hear a one kilohertz tone coming from the radio. To finish testing the sensitivity of this radio, again in digital mode, I'm just simply going to go back to the RF zone. I'm going to select output level, and I'm going to reduce the output level either with the down arrow key or the tuning knob until the radio squelches. In this case, it squelched at minus 123. So we've got a pretty good idea of the sensitivity of this radio, again, in digital mode, without using any of the tuner software. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 602-721-5889, or visit our website anytime. The website address is www.freedomcte.com. Thank you.